Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a new Bursa Bar 9, Bursa AR9. It's an AR pistol. They introduced this last year at SHOT Show. I said, that's cool. We know Bursa for making nice handguns at budget-friendly prices. Now they're making a Bar 9 in 9mm. But what I did not know at that time is that Bursa would come out with a full series. So they make two AR pistols in 9mm, one with an 8-inch barrel, this one here has a 4-inch barrel. And then they make a couple rifles and a pistol in 5.56. Five, so Bursa is expanding their line to not just produce handguns, but also long guns. And, and I think that's cool. But this is a Bar 9. It is new. It's available with either Glock mags or Bursa TPR mags. And this model is suited for Glock mags. But let's check it out. I mentioned it has a four inch barrel and you say well that handguard's longer than four inches what's the deal there this is compensated it has six compensators on there it's made by kaw valley precision called the slim xl pistol caliber compensator and it attaches to that four inch barrel right there and so the compensator's four and a quarter inches so it looks like an eight inch barrel but it's not now the role of the compensator is to divert the gases, in this case, forward, which reduces muzzle rise. When I took it to the range, I said there's like no muzzle rise when shooting this firearm. The overall length is 21 and a half inches, and it's real short. So if you use it for home defense, you have the availability of Glock mags, and you have a very short firearm to make your way around. Now, let's take a look at this. The magazine that is included is a Magpul, all right? But like I said, it accepts Glock mags. Many of the models currently that I see out there have the TRP mags. Now, the MSRP on this is 870, but the average price that I am seeing is 670. You don't typically see that with a new firearm, a $200 less price tag but that's what we're seeing 670 for this firearm it's available with glock mags or bursa mags i've got a ton of glock mags so i went with that now let's check out this handguard you can see the rail goes all the way up top there and it is m-lock so you could add some accessories there if you so choose the compensator is certainly cool it is made of aluminum and an aluminum lower receiver this right here is where you can use your hand to, to grip the lower, keep it away from this shorter handguard. You could put a hand stop on there. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Give yourself a couple options. There's the buffer tube. Comes with this pad. I guess this is how we're going to have to do things now, okay, with the pistol brace ruling with the ATF and all this. We'll see how that turns out. But before the pistol braces were around, we just pretty much cheeked the buffer tube anyway so this this pad's nice you can move it forward backward wherever you want your cheek to rest on the buffer tube the grip is a mission first tactical now some they have suited with magpul others with mft mission first tactical i haven't had that yet but it certainly works fine no arguments there and we'll take a look at this side 21 and a half inches it's all ar which is bar bursa ar pistol you can put whatever glock mag you want or stick with this right here now i do have a bushnell first strike 2.0 on there it comes with the riser you need a riser all right you figure your cheek rests right here your eyes align right there comes with the riser it's a 303 moa dot and i sighted it in at the range and it was cold i mean windy and cold i wanted to do more but the the wind kept blowing my camera down believe it or not but it was a easy sight in i took some shots let's take a look at that and we'll come back and talk more about it
the bar nine has a standard mil spec trigger all right so it's a, a pretty common trigger pull that we see on many firearms there's your forward assist I already talked about the charger overall very nice disassemble same as any other AR what I really appreciated at the range was this and elongated trigger guard because I had gloves on as I mentioned it was freezing cold and I had plenty of real estate in there to reach my finger in there and pull the trigger but overall very happy with it I thought about going with the 8 inch barrel model okay to get a little more velocity but I wanted the benefits of the compensator I'm going to get a picture of that and throw it in there so you can get a better look but I wanted the benefits of the compensator because I figured you know what most handguns are four inches anyways you get the compensator nice easy shooting now i have to say at the range a terrible day to go to the range by the way people said i was nuts when i told them what i was doing but it performed excellent it really did it, it fed fired ejected everything just fine even with that freedom munitions ammo i've been having you know with freedom munitions you either get a great batch or a batch that is inconsistent i was shooting a batch that was inconsistent and the bar nine fed fired ejected everything very well i had one little hang up and I'm, I'm telling you i'm blaming that on the ammo because i've had the same issues with other handguns that i've shot with the freedom munitions really losing faith in that but i'm not losing faith in the bar nine with the four inch barrel i i thought it was great i really enjoyed it i like the 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 compactness of it i was happy with the bushnell first strike 2.0 i like the compactness of it i thought it was real easy shooting that compensator has something to do with it not a lot of recoil with nine millimeter but enough to well i don't i don't know that it is a game breaker you know the the eight inch barrel would be cool too but i did i did like this the, the eight inch barrel goes about that much longer so i went with the the size and i just think it's cool i think it's different it's cool versus now making long guns and pistols and and all this and the availability of glock mags makes it super cool I'm very happy to have this new release from Bursa, a whole bar series. Check it out on their site. They have, they have uh, more than you may be expecting from Bursa. This is made in the USA. The bar series is made in the U.S. instead of Argentina, and I think that's cool. And I think this bar nine is cool. And I plan to do more with it on more weather-friendly range days. Although I have to admit. I still had fun. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.